So this is the basic sketch interface. There might be some tools here that look familiar to you, and there might be some that look a little strange and different. Uh, we're going to go over these one at a time, but first we're going to talk about this big white square area in between, or maybe it's dark if you're using dark mode. It's the canvas. So this is the same as you would get in Photoshop or Illustrator. It's just raw space that you can draw on or start designing in right away. But Sketch is really at home when you're using artboards. Just like Photoshop had updated a few years ago, artboards are kind of at the core of designing in Sketch. So there's a couple ways to add artboards. First is the Insert menu. So I can come up here to Insert. And you can see there's a bunch of different options. There's a lot of things you can insert into a Sketch document. And Sketch is really good at showing you right within its menus what your sort of keyboard shortcuts are. I think as we go through these lessons, one of the largest changes you're going to have to get used to is keyboard shortcuts. They're kind of different in Sketch, and in a way, they're, I think, a little easier to remember and understand. So here I can click on Artboard, or I can press A on my keyboard. First, I'll click. So before we place the artboard, and I could just drag and outline my own size, here we have a list of preset sizes. So maybe you want to design something for phones or iPad. Uh, these are all Apple devices, but you can come and change the category. Responsive web. I love desktop HD. That's kind of a great size for me to work in when I'm doing web stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. So now you can see the artboard's a little bit bigger. So I'll just zoom out and pinch with my trackpad here. And you see here this artboard is titled Desktop HD, so it has the title of whatever the preset is. It's also the same up here. And we can talk a little bit about what this does in a second. So the artboard itself has a pixel count. You can see here in our rulers this blue, starting at 0 pixels all the way to 1440, which is the exact width and height of our artboard. Now, if we want to, we can kind of use this control over here to toggle the aspect ratios. Maybe we're dealing with tall or wide. And I like to make, if you're doing print work, and you can absolutely do print work in Sketch, uh, you can make paper sizes and stuff as your preset. If you know the pixel count, just take the number of inches and multiply it by 72, and that's 72 pixels per inch of paper, and you can export from there. But this is an artboard, and this is kind of the basics of Sketch. So we can start working on this one artboard, but maybe we're going to need a bunch of them. So I'm going to hit A instead of going into the menu, and I'm going to pick another one. And you can see artboards kind of cascade to the right of each other. I'll hit A, and I'll add another one. So here we have three artboards. Now, whether you're zoomed out or zoomed in, you notice the name of the artboard stays relatively the same size on screen. So maybe like 11 or 12 pixels and small type there. If you ever want to grab an artboard, you can just grab it by its name and start aligning things. And you can see, like you would get an Illustrator or Photoshop, you kind of have some smart guides that will guide you and start telling you how many pixels these things are away. If you start putting artboards in random places, and some people are one to do that. I'm not. When you go to make a new artboard, it's going to do its best to add it to the end of your previously selected artboard. So that's kind of how this organization works. You can see here that they end in the order that you place them on top of each other in the layers panel. 